There is nothing, uh, I think, uh, more unfortunate than to have uh, soft, chubby, fat-looking children who go to uh, watch uh, their school play basketball every Saturday and regard that as their week's exercise. I hope that all of you will join and everybody in the United States to make sure that our children participate fully in a vigorous and adventurous life which is possible for them in this very rich country of ours. Okay, athletes, so what are your thoughts on this? Uh, That was President John F. Kennedy sometime in the 60s, I would imagine, when he was in his presidency, or maybe even the 50s. Um, But that's what they were saying a, uh, a school physical education program looked like. I don't think that that was the case across the board. Um, I don't know, to be honest. But there's also a piece that we might be missing is that we were on the brink of war when it came to that as well. So when you're talking about taking children and putting them into rigorous, almost military-like physical education programs, what are we actually doing with 16, 17-year-olds? We're prepping them to be 18 and getting them um, into the war. So in that case, you're, what you're taking is you're taking the guides of physical education and really putting a, uh, a hard line on it because there's a deeper agenda. Um, because I don't think we'd seen anything like that since. So uh, there used to be the presidential fitness uh, council. And if you satisfied some stuff, you'd get like a sticker or a badge. And I can remember that. But I think that's long since gone away. And the way things have gone now when it comes to warfare, anything else like that, even just service in the military, it's not quite the same as the uh, as the old rough and tough days um, of, of physical education. So I think there's something to be said about that. Now, I'm not against the notion where he was saying about unfortunately having um, soft and fat kids like those terms aren't correct for what we know today. But the sentiment is the same, and I don't think that it needs to fall into this uh, into the category of body shaming or trying to cancel somebody. What we're talking about is saving the lives of young children who are in a very dangerous place at this day and age as far as the obesity rate goes because of the foods they eat, because we are inundated with entertainment at home. And so you can create a sedentary lifestyle that can really just turn into a set of long-term problems. So I don't think he was wrong with that. And if we just frame the way things were allowed to be said, you know, what, almost 60 years ago versus now, he, he wasn't off on his mark. But what people might get stuck on today is that he said fat and uh, fat children. And I don't think that that's necessarily um, a shaming tactic at the time. It was just the verbiage, Um, just like a lot of things were just the verbiage for their time. So we have to keep those things in mind. But the goal of it or the point of it was that we can still flourish in this society, which he's absolutely right. We're supposed to be world leaders. And so the adventurous life that children can lead, I think, definitely is set in set in motion largely by a lot of play physical activity things like that we see the nfl now with the play 60 camps uh i was able to do a lot of their um a lot of their camps as a coach things along those lines so it is there is a new campaign built in to make sure making sure that children are moving so we do the same thing here at impact athletics association by the way subscriptions to the channel are free we'd love to have you and free in this economy is a great thing so please keep that in mind feel free to share it as well we're not here trying to tell you how to do a whole bunch of different things we're just here to motivate by sharing and showing what we do so there's a few of us that you're going to see And hopefully it's something that you enjoy. Feel free to leave your comments. We would love to have that. Anything constructive, not destructive, because again, we're trying to build each other up. Okay, athletes. So we have our favorite athlete here and she had some thoughts on this video. So she had her own reaction. So I'm going to let you take it away and give your thoughts on that. Okay. So when I saw the video of the 60s PE class, I was really impressed because I looked like super hard and I could tell that they were putting in a lot of effort. But then when I heard the president, John F. John F. Kennedy, I think, President Kennedy, talking about there's nothing worse than having a child that's um, soft and chubby, that, that was that sounded really like judgy. And my opinion on that was that people shouldn't, be saying that even in 
today's time and age because you never know um like what someone's going through and it's and it's not even your it's not your opinion on whether or not you think someone's fat or not like we should be kinder to people even if they don't look exactly how we look in today's day and age and this goes out to everybody who has been judged or is judging somebody because they are overweight or um or not um how we want them to look because it's really it's really like if if you're like concerned about them then you can like ask them like hey are you okay how are your day go how's your day going but we shouldn't just be teasing people and behind their back calling them fat or chubby or soft and I feel that it was really wrong even for the president of the United States to be saying that because he should be setting an example for all the citizens across the United States and not making his example worse and that was an example of making um, his reputation worse and possibly embarrassing some people because because not only is it embarrassing the kids, but it's embarrassing the parents and making them probably feel like bad parents and making the kids probably feel insecure and fat and chubby and lazy. But it's it's because people don't know how, how to just leave other people alone and just let them live their lives normally how they want to live it whether that's eating eating more veggies and stuff and having little treats every once in a while or the exact opposite way around it doesn't matter because in this day and age we need to learn how to just respect people's way of living and just accept that it's not it's not your life to live. It's their life to live, and we should just leave them be. But what are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. The subscriptions are completely free. And anything else? Okay. Um, I'm going to let it stand at that. But I, the only thing I'll point out is that adults do have an obligation to make sure that children have a healthy lifestyle. So the other part to that is, is it as crazy as it sounds that fa that long ago? So when he made that speech, it was probably about 60, 65 years ago. That's a long time ago. Right. So the times have changed. So everything that you, you were saying is, is pretty correct. But at that point in time, calling somebody fat or chubby was normal. Um, it was it was a more normalized thing to be able to say. Just think about you know, um, and guys, sorry, it's going to go kind of off, but when um, you had this is around the same time that you had in the South, you had Dr. King marching because there were black and white water fountains. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the times were very different. So if you could have people segregated by color based off of how they could eat or work or you know even take a bus. Just imagine what that meant for just something even lesser than, which is, you know, a fat child. And we didn't have the rates of childhood obesity back then like we do now because there wasn't McDonald's, Burger King, Dairy Queen, Jack in the Box. You didn't have Takis. You didn't have soda like as much as we do now. So what he was speaking to was like a, an overweight child at that point in time may have been way more of a standout than they are now. And so society was always quick to correct that. And so that's what he was speaking to. I'm not saying that the verbiage was right, but for now, that would be definitely be like the wrong thing to say. But then it was kind of like, maybe it was a message to a lot of people to say like, hey, we need to get our kids in better shape. So I don't disagree with what you're saying. I just wanted to put a little context on it because this is your day. So today... Mm -hmm. And moving forward, those kind of terms aren't allowed because we would call that bullying or body shaming. There really wasn't, like a bully back then was a kid who actually just beat you up. 
or took your lunch money or something like that. It What's re- lunch money? If you went to school with like how you have hot lunch, mm-hmm. but you had money, you would have to take money to school. So Oh, like actual holdable cash? Right. So that means somebody would beat you up and take your money. That was like what we knew bullies to be more than just saying something mean to you. It's still it's still not good. It still never has been. But a bully back then seemed to have a lot more power as far as like they would just beat you up rather than, you know, just call you fat. Like, okay, the fat kid was the fat kid. Um, so I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. It's just that this is your day. And in your day, it makes sense. Everything that you said is perfectly is perfectly on point. But back then, that wouldn't have it wouldn't have never been um, anything different than somebody you know being called fat or chubby. People would just point it out and say, "Oh, that's what you are." So um, the whole um, to your to your uh, point is very valid. But what it does, guys, is it shows generations have different opinions of how things are said. So um, if you that's like why you see like a lot of old people see now like how young people talk and they're like oh that wouldn't work in my day we would have just did this this that and that that's because they're different generations and it's different languages different understandings different laws different you know all sorts of different things so you had some really good points that was very well very well thought out and that was like just a reaction you'd only seen it what just what one time before that no that i had never seen that video before Oh, was that your first? So that was I, a, that was my first time seeing the video. Okay, so yeah, then you are on point um, as far as how quick your brain reacts and what your thoughts are, and it speaks to your values and character. So, like she said, subscriptions are free, and in this economy, that is a fantastic thing. So we're gonna get out of here because we have pizza to eat. Yes, yes, yes. And as always, like we like to say, HWPO, hard work pays off. Impact by Lugs Association. All right, guys, we'll see you. Bye.